But I, I don't think there is a fundamental distinction between IH and narcolepsy type 2 in most cases. Mm. Uh, and indeed, there are some people, even with IH, that have somewhat restorative naps. And there are some people with IH who, mm. in the classic picture, they are tired all the time. Uh, and they have trouble waking up. Uh, so the, the classic clinical picture of IH doesn't fit with the result of the MSLT. So I think we should, I mean, almost give up the MSLT for diagnosing IH right, or yeah. an narcolepsy type 2. The problem with that is, of course, you know, we need some objective tests because Virtual, otherwise yeah. people can just say that they're tired and nothing, they really have nothing wrong, you know. And, right. and uh, it's really important because we are prescribing very strong drugs. And, and so that's why I think we need to move away from this idea of measuring the MSLT, but rather like measuring sleep and wake during the normal environment and see if these people have a lot of naps and how they, mm -hmm. they, is their EEG, their brain waves are when they're awake, when they have difficulty waking up. And I'm sure we can find some very objective finding in IH uh, that then also can be targeted by drugs. Because the other advantage of measuring at home is we can give drugs and we can see what's happening. And then we can actually fix then the problems that these people have mm. in their home. Mm. 